Welcome to Body Fixers. Hello. Hi. A pop-up salon with a mission to fix your botched bodies and horrific hair. Oh. The more you touch it, the bigger it gets. So if your look is more freak oh. than on fleek, it is quite small. Then these are the pros to help. Hairdressers Daniel and Nathan. Beauticians April and Melissa. Makeup artist Alex. And cosmetic doctor Esho. Together they'll tackle the dumbest. I completely shave them off. No. Grossest. And most outrageous beauty disasters. My lips are actually exploded. Oh my god. <laughs> they guarantee to turn all fails fierce. You're gonna look smoking hot. <laughs> it's the movie. Holy crap. Oh god, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> they are. The body fixes. Hey, hey. Where? Can't see you anywhere. Nah, you are not quite there. You might be a bit too old for that. No, I don't remember going to a prom. Maybe I always wanted a first slow dance if I went to prom. Should we have a slow dance? Come on then. Little dance. Is it going to be like really close and cuddly or should yeah. we do a bit of a... No, no, no. Oh, this is weird. Let's okay. try it. I might turn you. Oh, please. Uh -huh. Now go back. Oh! Oh, 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 Oh. Hi! Wow! Wow! I am taking all this in. How can we help? Uh, I think I need a little makeover. You need a little makeover? At the moment, my drag style's a bit wacky, tacky, and a bit more carnival clown mm -hmm. yeah. shite. <laughs> so, I, I, I think it's really... <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I'm Gypsy Darling, the drag queen that's just fell off the fairground clown wagon. I've got the banter, I've got the personality, but when it comes to the look, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm fabulous. So normally if I walk into one of the bars on Canal Street, I get a load of the people looking at me, sniggering, sneering, look at the state of that thing. I get all these drag queens coming up to me. Gypsy, let's have a picture. Then I find out why. You get them looking a million dollars and they get me looking like a bag of crap. Dog shit dragging a bag. <laughs> Everything you see in my makeup style is self-taught. My brows, they're big, they're wacky, they're loud. And then you get the lips. They say you cannot polish a turd, but you can certainly roll it in glitter. So after five years of being a bad drag, I want to step up my game and become the center of attention for all the good reasons. 
Let's give me something to go with my personality. I've got this diva inside. I need to bring her out. I want to be a Donatia. I'm intrigued. How long does it take you to do this makeup? I just get a block of this, block of that, rub it on, and within 15 minutes, it's done. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got an idea of what kind of look you want to go for now? I want it to be more feminine makeup and more real drag and not this psycho drag. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm oh. seeing something that definitely needs to go straight away, What's which is that? the tash. I didn't even notice the tash. If the tash is going to go, it's going to go. So is this a full-time thing for you or part-time? Uh, it's a bit more part-time nowadays because recently I set up my own little business where I do bespoke balloon designs. Like, I make dresses from balloons. Whoa. Oh, um, wow. When it comes to the balloons, I'm probably the, best, the best blower around. You're oh. the best blower around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So should we go downstairs and get started? Yeah. Let's do this. Go. Exciting. Excited. There's got to be a point in my career where I get to make you up as a drag queen. Oh, definitely. So you could have a, like, a drag day, like, April showers. Oh, yeah. So, Gypsy, you and this wig, how far do you go back? This was my very first long wig. So you go way back. <laughs> way, feel, way back. Do you feel quite emotionally attached to it in a way? Every relationship has had its day when it has to come to an end. <laughs> Off with that head. <laughs> so let's talk about new wigs now. In front of us, you got two there. Which one are you kind of drawn to straight away? I like the curly blonde one. Yeah. I like a bit of volume. I like something that'll boogie when I'm boogie. So you get to stay blonde, but it's a completely different style. I love it. Yeah? I absolutely love it. Sun, 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 can I wear it? Uh, top of the roster. Real deal, you can see it in my posture. So I'm going to do an impression of someone that we work with, and you've got to guess who it is. Go on, then. OK, this is the first one. Nathan. Who's this one? Oh, Daniel. No. That's me. <laughs> Basically, you could all leave and I could do you all. Gemma, this is Jonathan. He's got a problem that needs fixing. OK, we'll come on through. How are we doing today? Good, thank you. Oh, what can we do for you guys? Well... I'll let you start. <laughs> Jonathan has a problem. We're getting married next year. We're getting okay. married abroad. And I just feel it's really going to get in the way and ruin our wedding. Oh, well, Thank congratulations. You yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really worried it's going to ruin all the photos and then we've got all these memories that we're going to look back yeah. on and they're just not going to look fantastic. To look at you now, I wouldn't say that there was anything that would ruin photos. No, exactly. Well, let me show you guys. I only put this T-shirt on half an hour ago. Bless you. Oh, gosh. It's not hot today. <laughs> yeah, it's not hot. Gee! <laughs> it's not comfortable for me. It's like, it's more abnormal than anyone yeah. else. It looks like I've had water chucked in my face. Mm. I feel like everyone's laughing at me. I am the joke. Oh. They say it's good to sweat. But, I mean, the not way I much. sweat, yeah, not this much. 
Are you getting married in a hot country? So we're going to Santorini in Greece. It's in August. It's going to be boiling hot. Our pictures are just literally going to be ruined. I yeah. feel like you maybe didn't think it through the whole way. No. <laughs> Your wedding would have been better. We went last year and that's where he proposed to me. So he wanted to go back oh. to marry there. So it is a special place for us. So if you're like obviously just sitting here and you're like getting really hot and like you're sweaty and stuff, what must it be like when, <laughs> you know, when stuff like that is it can't? It's not very nice. No, oh, yeah, it's dripping in her mouth. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's in the hair. <laughs> I feel like I'm just being honest. Well, you'll be pleased to know I I do know exactly what you're suffering from. It's a condition called hyperhidrosis, and you'll be okay. even happier to know you can be treated for it. All right. Yay! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You'll be able to do that later. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly not something, you know, myself or these guys can do. We'll okay. have to hand you over to the doctor. Would you like to follow me? How much do you reckon it would hurt to get injected in the armpit? I wouldn't know. I've never had Botox or anything. Jonathan's excessive sweating is a very common problem, so I'm glad I've been brought in today. Botox injections block off the nerve impulses which cause sweat production. It's a simple problem to fix. Have you ever seen your armpits like this before? Never. We're going to do a few injections of what we call botulinum toxin type A into this armpit that other armpit and then your forehead and we're going to make sure you're not going to be sweating anymore for this wedding sounds brilliant good. sounds excellent yeah can't wait yeah. and baby i like it still to come i've got dark secret oh my god <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is it. You are going to be blown away. Welcome back to Body Fixes, where our beauty experts make sure anyone who fails it, nails it. Nathan's making drag queen Gypsy more Coco Chanel than Coco the Clown. The tash, it needs to go straight away. And Dr. Esho's Botox job on Jonathan is the absolute pits. But he just can't risk wetting himself on his big day. Yeah, he's dripping in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> The pictures from last night. From the restaurant? Yes, yeah, from the restaurant. <laughs> that was weird, wasn't it? That was really weird. What was it? The guys necking on with each other in two booths behind us. <laughs> what did they say when we heckled them? The girl turned around and said, we've been together two years. And then the guy said, yeah, we've been together two years and I've been married for three. So he was cheating. He was yeah. cheating, playing console tennis with his mistress in a burger bar. With an audience. Take a seat. 
Oh my god, I don't know where to look. No, I do. <laughs> Pretty perky. <laughs> Frankie and Charlie. Oh, hello, Frankie and Charlie. I'm Alex. This is Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to stare, but what brings you in today? I feel like I need to tone it down because I'm too much. You but know where... how I like the saying less is more? Yeah. Like, I want to do that, but... When I go apply makeup, I just keep going and going, and then I'm like, oh, God. What's brought you to this moment, though? What's triggered the make under? I'm trying to find, like, a boy that would like us for who I am under all this. How long is it taking you to get ready on a morning? I'd say at least two hours. Two hours? <laughs> Oh, my God. Why don't you just sort of halve it and do it yourself? Like, make yourself look natural? I don't know how to, to be honest. I try, but then I don't succeed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't, it's just autopilot. Yeah. OK, um, so we're going to start with the hair. Yeah. We're going to throw that hair piece in the bin so you can't get addicted to that. Yeah. What next? <laughs> I think if you could, like learn or I can show you some absolutely cracking ways to feel confident and amazing yeah. without layering so much on. It's gonna be a big day. Yay. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. Yay. Come on. I love it when you can strip somebody back because she's gorgeous. She is beautiful. I was trying to have a good look at her face, but those boobies. And they were winking at me and everything over there. Yeah, yeah, I wanna see your wine. Yeah, you know you got an audience behind it. Yeah, if you was a hit, I would sign it. Yeah, all day press play and rewind it. Jonathan and Gemma are getting married in the summer in a hot country, so I need to stop these excessive sweating. I usually use Botox to smooth out wrinkles, but in this case, I'm injecting it to stop the production of sweat. So is this the most romantic thing he's ever done for you? No. Funny enough, actually, his proposal was the most romantic thing he's ever done. This is the way I've done it. I said to her, well, I'm going to take you to a nice restaurant. So as we're driving down, she's like, this doesn't look like a restaurant. I said, no, we're going on the runway because I booked you a helicopter. Are you serious? Yes. This <laughs> 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 So we went to the restaurant by helicopter. OK, right. You never, ever, ever say that story around <laughs> other guys. You understand. Where do you get the idea from, Come. Well, to be honest, I watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, <laughs> yeah, and that's where I saw it. You know, well, for that, I'm going to give you a bigger injection. <laughs> 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 Gypsy's drag act makes everybody laugh, but for all the wrong reasons. So, we're stripping back her look and giving her a total overhaul. Okay, Gypsy, now I can actually see what I've got to work with. Before we get on to making you this new feminine drag superstar, we need to get rid of one thing. That tash. No woman is sporting a tash, so can I have the honours? Let's get them. Is there any kind of like celebrity that 
you like the hair. Um. What about a fellow Geordie, like uh, Cheryl? Yeah, I like her a lot. Live next door with Cheryl. You lived next door to Cheryl Cole. Yeah. I remember when I was little, Cheryl was coming out the like news agent, and she had dyed her hair like yellow M and M blonde, and I was like, Oh my God, Cheryl, what are you doing? Your hair's horrible. And then. A few weeks later, I saw her in the street and she had dark hair again. I thought, that's because of me. That, that was because of yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> that's because of you ripping it. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. So what I would like to do is take out the blackness of it, see what base we have, and then just maybe go for a bit more warmth, um, and then maybe just add some pieces, some really light pieces, just to complement it, and just thicken it out a bit for you. Good stuff. Okay, Gypsy, you are finally done. The transformation is complete. Are you ready to see yourself? Yeah. Let's go. Gypsy was fed up with being the roughest drag queen around, so she came in for a complete glamour overhaul. Okay, this is it. You are gonna be blown away. I am sure of it. Gypsy, where do I start? With ditch the psychotic clown wig, the face paint, and the tash. And you've had a total style revamp. I cannot wait for you to see it. So, Gypsy darling, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm a drag queen. You definitely a drag queen. I love you. I love you all. Oh. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking. What have you done? <laughs> yeah, I look like a real drag. I look fabulous. I'm taking over that village. They're not going to know what's hit them. Gypsy's coming back with a vengeance, bitches. <sighs> God, you're going to cry. You're going to cry. No, Don't I'm you not. ruin that. <laughs> I'm, not, ruin I'm, that not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. I can't. Jack queens know that they don't cry. <laughs> Look at me. Wow. This rug is so filthy. Put your back into it, boy. No, you go. Take it out of here. It's like a little oh. workout. Oh. Hey. Hi. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. I'm looking to see a hairdresser, please. Yes, cool. Babe, turn the hoover off. <laughs> Nathan? Come in. The client's in. Oh, darling. Scott. I'm Nathan. I am Alan. Nice to meet, meet you, too. mate. You too. Well, look, you know, I came here today because I've got dark secret. And when I mean it's dark, it's very, very dark. Very dark. Yeah. Married. I'm going to show you something. You know, it's quite small, but I'll show you anyway. 
What? Oh yeah. Oh okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Carpet and curtains not matching. Like. I know. Okay. So look, <laughs> I am naturally ginger, and I'm here to embrace being a ginger minge. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I want to do. So that's why I need your help. Have you got a photo of you with red hair yeah. on my phone? Ooh. It's quite shocking. And when I mean ginger, like I mean roaring red. See? <gasps> oh God. So do people even know that you're naturally a redhead? No. Nobody knows. Like, nobody knows. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm hiding behind the dye. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I actually, I'm, I don't feel like I'm being myself. So do you dye your brows as well? You obviously do. Every two weeks, wow. I go and get my eyebrows tinted, waxed. Yeah, they're good shapes. Yeah. Uh, I have my eyelashes every two weeks. I dye my hair every Thursday. Every Thursday? Every Thursday. Just don't put my life at risk here, okay? <laughs> I ain't not walking out of here looking like walls of fucking grummage, okay? <laughs> Just make sure I'm looking very well walking yeah. out of here, please. Should we head downstairs and get started? I think so, yeah. Let's go for it, mate. Thanks very much. Look, thanks, guys. See you in a while. Yeah, see you in a bit. Thank you. Looking forward to seeing it. Me too. Did you see any pubes? Yeah. Oh, you did? I did, so I got, oh, I got what he was, yeah. But aren't most people's pubes ginger? Mine aren't. They say that if you've got, like, brown hair, that the pubes are ginger. ginger. Yeah. So, you speaking for yourself, <laughs> babe? So going back to your roots, being a redhead, what, how do you think that's going to change your life? I'm very anxious to see what I'm going to look mm -hmm. like because I've been wearing black dyes for like nearly five, six years now. I mean, <laughs> just let me live this ginger life. Jonathan's excessive sweating was a major problem, not only for him, but for his fiancée, Gemma. I just feel it's really gonna get in the way and ruin our wedding. I'm really excited to see his reaction now that the Botox I've used to stop it has taken effect. So guys, do you want to come over and have a look? I would love to. Come on. This is one of the worst cases of excessive sweating I've ever seen. But after having injections in your armpits and your forehead, you can finally check yourself out without seeing massive sweat patches. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait. Wow. You've been wearing that shirt for ages and it's a pretty hot day. Not a single sweat patch. Lovely. What Are do you, you even think? Sweating? I'm not. No. Look, I'm my forehead as well. That's so good. The wedding's on. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. comfortable now. I feel like I've got my confidence back as well. That's so good. That's the music to our ears. No um, pre-wedding sweats, nerves. And... <laughs> None of that. <laughs> you are the one sweating on our wedding day now. Yeah, well, I'd rather you than me. <laughs> well, the treatment's worked really well. What you're going to notice is those lines across the forehead will completely go as well. And make me look a lot younger. A lot younger. Look, it's a lot better. Younger. And also, 
You're going to be able to have adult time. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We were going to. That. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's, le let's leave them to discuss that. <laughs> Clean, Clean adult time. Adult time. Right, guys, should we get out of here? And, Gemma, you can enjoy your new dry fiancé. Sounds brilliant. Come on, then, let's go. Nathan's taken Alan back to his ginger roots, and now it is my turn to make sure that the eyebrows match. So, have you told your work that you're going to be having this done today? No way. <gasps> I said absolutely nothing. I did tell a porky lie, like, I just told him that I had to go for an operation in London. Oh my gosh. I just told him I had a hem right in my ass. <gasps> But won't they notice when you walk back in with ginger hair, they're going to think that the hemorrhoid treatments turned you ginger? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, yeah. It's the genius thing about having your hemorrhoid sorted out. No one's going to inspect it, are they? They're not going to be like, oh, prove it then, are they? Yeah, who's going to ask? Look at my ass. <laughs> Coming up. <laughs> Somebody was actually sick. Yes. Yeah. A beautician. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh my God! That was changing my look to the absolute extreme. Oh my God. What the fuck am I looking like? Welcome back to Body Fixers, where horrible hair and beauty botch jobs are banished. Oh my god. <laughs> Daniel is taking Stephanie back to the bare necessities. And Alan wants to go back to his roots. I feel like I'm hiding behind the dye. So Nathan and April are showing him that orange is the new black. The first time I've met my little half's parents went out for a meal for his birthday and I wanted to sort of like, you know, impress with my intellect and say that I'd learnt a new word that day, which I had learnt a new word. Hold a second, so you wanted to impress with your intellect? Yeah. So I was like, oh, I've learnt the word fellatio. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it sounded a little bit Shakespearean. <laughs> fellatio, fellatio, where <laughs> we're at now, fellatio. <laughs> Apparently, it's the good old. <laughs> <laughs> How can we help you? Um, unfortunately, I have like a problem. Um, it's always been there. It's not easy um, to deal with. It's not comfortable for a woman, you know. It's like I'm looking you up and down, thinking, "What? Well, thank you. Yeah. Well, you know." Um... <laughs> Karima, I'm from Belfast. I'm embarrassed um, to show my problem. I'm always thinking about it if I wear something revealing. You 
supposed to be happy when the sun is out, but for me, I'm always thinking of this problem. Four years ago, I booked an appointment. I went to the salon. Oh God, it was such an embarrassing day for me. I went to the room. My trousers were off. There is a girl coming. She changed the color of her face. And the next thing, she was like vomiting. Oh my God, why? It was a bad day for me. I need help. Somebody was actually sick. Yes. yes. The beautician. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So this is why I'm not really confident to go to yeah. the salon and have something done. Understandably. Um, I think we need to see this. We need to unveil this problem. Okay. Um. So don't be sick, okay? Okay. Because... Goodbye. So this is... <laughs> Just my legs, my underarm. Oh my gosh! Yeah, so um, That's, it's not really you've got comfortable. Some hair there. Yeah. So, what do yeah. you just like grow free everywhere? If I shave, then five hours after that, I have to shave again. You know, mm, wow. the hair. Will, I know the hair will come out like very, you know, yeah. very quickly. Wow. I'd say they're quite impressive, the armpit ones. Yeah, maybe we should get cracking on this. Okay, brilliant. And I can't wait. See fluff you. Thank you. Have fun. Enjoy. Okay, thank you. All right. Bye. I can't believe a professional threw up on her client. Not only is she like covered in hair, she's covered in sick. <laughs> Somebody else is sick. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel is now taking care of Stephanie's extension heavy hair and I'm going to strip her back and give her a more classic natural makeup look. Wow, Stephanie, you have caked this makeup on so much that I'm almost getting a little bit of my nail to peel it off. Sorry. How do you on earth do you cope with getting this off? Like your lashes is kind of like congealed mascara <laughs> in your eyes. It drives us insane. That's why you're here to sort us out. And I'm glad I am. You're not going to recognise yourself, I don't think, at the end. Hello. That's the look I'm going for. And I really should hope that when it's done, you're going to keep it up. You're going to have so much more time in the mornings to sleep <laughs> rather than getting up two hours before you need to. <laughs> Karima, okay. I've seen the hair on your legs. Uh huh. I've not been sick. I'm okay. Not gonna be sick. Okay. So we're okay. That's good. Yeah. It's good to know that. Yeah. <laughs> but how are you with pain? Oh, you know, so so okay. so. Please just be gentle with yeah. me and uh, let's go for it. Ready? I was born ready, so yeah. let's do it. Okay. Do you want to have a little lick? Oh, no, no, no. You're no, right. I'm going to be sick now. <laughs> Alan wanted to get rid of the black hair dye that he uses every week. 
and embrace his native ginger. It's been a long time since he's seen the real Alan. I hope he likes it. Should you walk over and have a look, mate? Okay, let's go. Okay, Alan, when you came in today, you've been dyeing your eyebrows, your hair for about six years. It was such high maintenance and you wanted to change. So we've given you this complete new fresh look, taking you back to your roots. And I've got to say, it's definitely more Damien Lewis than Chris Evans. Brace yourself, all right? I am. I'm ready for it. Here it goes. One, two, three. I thought I was ready to go back to Ginge, but no way. Absolutely no way. I'm gonna actually get sick. I just, I don't like it at all. I just, it's not me. Look, I tried it. I gave it a bash, gave it a go, but no. What is it you don't like about it? Everything. You did ask us to turn you ginger. And this is ginger. I think it actually reminds me of why I actually dyed my hair. I, I know I, I'm sincerely in shock. What the fuck am I looking like? I just couldn't have my hair like that. Do you think that's either. because you've been so long with having lip black? Probably. What happened to that like, embracing your natural colour? Power to the gingers, I gave it to you. You just keep rocking that ginger minge, but I'm telling you it's here from hand on heart. I ain't joining your team. I can't, I can't do it for the team. Sorry, but that's thanks right. very much no, for your that's help. Right. No. That's very good, but I'll be very honest. I'm going back to black. So the hair and brows is not for you? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, get that, uh, get that off. I can't even look at it. Can you just close that, please? I feel physically sick. I can't even do it. Right, take a seat. No way. I can't. That, that colour is absolutely atrocious. I won't be doing it. I don't want people laughing at me. And that's not what I'm looking for. Please. Thank you. Alan's obviously not ready to embrace his ginger roots. Oh, my God. But I don't want an unhappy client, so I'm going to take him back to black. Yeah. Stephanie wanted a more natural look to attract Mr. Right and discover the true natural beauty behind all her OTT fake tan and makeup. Should we go and see it? Yeah. Oh, God. I'm really nervous. <laughs> Stephanie, when you came in, you said you like a drag queen. I've wiped off all that makeup. We've got rid of those extensions. And we've lost those fake looking eyebrows to reveal your natural beauty. Okay, so in three, two, one, here we go. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I look so different. Oh my word. Mint? 
like it. This is crazy. Even though it's that short. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I feel uh, like a woman. Yeah, you feel like a woman. I feel like I'm more mature. Mature. So do you reckon you're going to get the type of man that you want with this new look? Yeah. Yeah? I do. Oh, my God, you look so hot. Thank you. <laughs> Alan's reaction to his ginger hair was the worst thing I've ever seen. So it's all hands on deck. I just can't believe it. Total shock, mate, yeah? yeah. I can't believe it. Just, I look like an um, Belombe. I'm so glad this happened to Nathan and not me. That was changing my look to the absolute extreme. That was like extreme mm -hmm. makeover. Minus breast implants and dentures and stuff. <laughs> it feels like you've had a lot done, but you actually oh, haven't. It was, so it was like, it was like going for a tummy tuck. But you haven't done that. I felt like it. <laughs> Do you know what? You've gone six years without being ginger. Yeah. It's, it's pretty obvious. Well, here's another six more years of being black. Exactly. Still to come. This kind of is like the easiest workout you're ever going to do. Yeah, but it's a bit weird though, isn't it? So, Alan, we are back to black. Welcome back to Body Fixers, a pop-up salon to transform all your beauty bungles. I feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> April's looking after Karima, who's given salons a swerve after a sickening wax. I've seen the hair on your legs. I'm okay. not going to be sick, okay. so we're OK. That's good. And Alan's turned whinger over his ginger. No. What is it you don't like about him? Everything. So three's the magic number to take him back to the dark side. I look like an umpa trickiest customers I've ever had to deal with. He wanted to go back to his natural ginger, but hated it. He begged me to take him back to black. It's been a team effort, but I hope he's now happy. So, Alan, the ginger experiment wasn't for you, mate, was it? Nah. The latest. Here we go. Much better. Mate, how's that feel? Do you know what? I am happy that I don't see the ginger right now because I feel a little bit like my stomach is not going to explode. I could walk with this. Do you know what? I think it's actually much better. When you walked in, I knew it wasn't naturally black. It looked blue. Years of build-up of black dye on top of a black dye, it's kind of gone blue, hasn't it? Now you just look like you've got a natural kind of brown, almost black, and I just think this softer. It looks much sexier as a guy to kind of have this colour than I think a blue-black. It's ten times better than how I looked today. I'm happy that you're happier now. So, mate, are you going to be happier to get on that plane now, back home? Well, look, there ain't no show without Alan McGarry, so it looks like I have to go back. Let's go for it, mate. Let's go. Yeah. Yarn today. 
so tired. Hiya, mate. You all right? How you doing? Hey, just wonder if you could help me out. Sure. Is that cool? Yeah, cool. Come on. Fab. Come through and take a seat, mate. Hey, guys, this is Paul. Hey. Hey, you all right? Hi, Paul. Nice to meet you. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Nice to meet you. So, Paul, what brings you in today? So, I was recently made um, Mr. Gay Wales. Oh, oh wicked! Oh. Well done. Oh, thank you very much. Which is a really, really big thing for me um, because now I get put forward and I'm now a delegate for Mr. Gay Europe. No. Yes, I know, I know, I know. So, which means we'll all be competing now to hopefully become Mr. Gay Europe to be the ambassador for the LGBTI community. Oh, wow. And for me, it's a massive thing because I'm also the first ever physically disabled winner for Mr. Gay Wales and delegate as well. So, so yes, it's a really big achievement. achievement. Well. Really so, good. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so, and I need to get competition ready because when I won uh, Mr. Gay Wales, it was all fab. And since then, it's been so busy, I've kind of let it all go a little bit, <laughs> you know, and as much as it's not about aesthetics, you kind of want to feel good about yourself. Mm, absolutely. Well, which I do, but my body needs a little bit of help. What do you mean, competition ready? There will be a catwalk. I am going to have to take my top off at some point. Let's just say I've also been eating quite a lot as well. So my belly is feeling a little bit chunky at the moment. I'll show you. Chili cheese bites. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All there, yeah. So some help there, guys. Anything you can do. Yeah, you look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I know I'm fine, I'm absolutely fine, but I just need a bit of judging up a little bit, mm. that's all. When's the competition? When's the competition? We literally got a few weeks, so... Yeah, <laughs> your face, <laughs> I know. No, you know how I'm feeling. <laughs> so, obviously, we are not going to be able to get you um, a body in that time. However, I know some great cheats that I, I can do with makeup. It's like real life photoshopping. Fab. I like that. Good, good. good stuff. I think they did it on Robert Patterson in Twilight to give the illusion of the hard work that we should have put in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <Yeah. laughs> in a good way. I haven't gone the same. <laughs> like, I would much rather walk past the gym and straight into a burger joint. Yeah. It's the way we are. Yeah, I know. And plus, I like to keep it kind of natural as well. Exactly. So a little cheat every now and again. Oof. It's very good. OK, well, then you're coming down with me. OK, cool. Get competition yeah. ready. Yeah, that's it. Follow me. Have fun, guys. Mm -hmm. Wow, Mr. Gay Wales. Wow. You know, I'm loving the whole idea of being able to paint on abs. Yeah, sounds great. Ditch the gym and just get out the maker until you need to go swimming. You go in all buff and you come out like a whale. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe not a whale. <laughs> Jeez. This is that probably the like most intimidating things I think I've done, like drawing a body onto like Mr. Gay Wows. It's like a big deal. How did you sort of like adapt to it or have you not yet? Not yet, no, no, it's still a bit overwhelming to be fair. This kind of is like the easiest workout you're ever gonna do. It can't, you never get this kind of look just from going to the gym once. So like 20 minutes of a bit of body painting and you're like... Done. Done. Yeah, but it's a bit weird though, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not the most normal <laughs> things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> when you get up, you brush your hair, 
brush your teeth, and then draw your body on. Well, that says <laughs> each to their own, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Karima hadn't been to a salon for four years after her last leg wax ended with her beautician puking. Hopefully today has been a much better experience. So Karima, are you ready to have a little look at it? Oh God, yeah, okay, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, I can't well, wait, let's... let's have a little look. Okay. Karima, you came in today too embarrassed to show off your body because you had so much hair and shaving just couldn't control it. But I've used a bucket load of wax and some serious elbow grease to make sure that you are completely hair free. Are you feeling ready for this? Yeah, yeah. let's do it, yeah. Oh my God. Look at those legs. pins. They, have legs. Legs, you know. You do. You have got good legs. So, yeah. you need to get them out more. Yeah. I want to go now to the salon and say, hey, you know, someone wasn't sick at this. Exactly. Do you think you'd go through with having another wax? I will. I love yeah, you it. You look fantastic. It's very nice. Thank you so much. Very nice. And what do you think your husband's gonna say? Yeah, he's gonna love it and not stop touching my legs. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's gonna. <laughs> He's gonna love it, definitely. Yeah. I think we should go back and show your husband your new legs and yes. underarms. Sexy legs, you Sexy mean. Sexy yeah. legs, yeah. yeah. Why not? Come yeah. on, let's go. Brilliant. country you fearing? Mr. Netherlands, I think. <laughs> God, <laughs> seriously, yeah. He is ripped to shreds. <laughs> but I'm going to be standing next to him. He's probably about six foot odd. I'm only five foot eight. Diddy or Paul from the Ronda Valleys. And like, mm. <laughs> Paul was dreading his Mr. Gay Europe competition. He didn't have time to go to the gym. So I've given him a body contour, which is like the ultimate buff body cheat. How are you feeling? Really weird. I, I just want to see what I look like now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I just want to see it. Come on, let's go. Come on, then, let's go and have a look. Paul, you are now competition ready. Nathan has given you a cool cut. And I have tailored your torso with a little bit of makeup. Three, two, one. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you are kidding me. Oh, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Look at that. I'm actually ripped. I'm actually ripped. Look at my boobs. Oh my God. This is just really weird seeing my head, my standalone head, just on this body, which is my body, but it's not my body.
Like when you get like gold and you have to like hug the guy in silver, he might get. I'm gonna be a like, oh, don't, well. don't, don't touch me, don't. I'm gonna rub off on you. So, what do we think, mate? Oh, awesome, absolutely. Good? Yeah, and thank you so much for my hair as well. Yeah, do you like it? Yes, definitely. Honestly, Look at the abs now, mate. Instant oh, abs. Look at that. Oh, right. Um, my mother would be laughing at her <laughs> doll. Honestly, she'd be loving it. She'd say, oh, look at you, barely. I think you've given Alex a bit of encouragement to go for it next year as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's the gay Heathrow. Yeah, and it's the gay Heathrow. <laughs> I reckon if we go upstairs, there's great light, and we could get some Instagram pictures. Some selfies. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's we'll go keep our time Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, go on, let's go. Next time on Body Fixes. Oh, mate. Hello. <laughs> Hilarious. I've been homeless for two years. <laughs> They're pointing at my face. Oh, my gosh. How many injections do you think I'll need? I will say 40. I love it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it! So, you know how we all see demons? I mean, we all see them, right? Well, we're trying to take them down in brand new comedy drama Crazy Head on E4 tomorrow at 9. And next, I'm not pointing any fingers, but Crazy Head might fit nicely for this show as well when Mariah Carey makes an appearance. Empire, starting next.